this violent man. Witnesses are telling officers he stabbed another man, crammed the victim into his car, and then took off. Police don't know the name or the condition of that victim. Orion Raish is live with the very latest on the search and why police got such a late start. Ryan? Yeah, detectives here at the Lake Wales Police Department didn't even learn about this violent attack until about 12 hours after it happened. The good news, they have a name for the suspect, Stephen Rios, a man with an extensive criminal history. The bad news, he got a 12-hour running start. It's still shocking that it's what next door. As detectives went door to door Monday searching for more clues and witnesses to a violent attack, neighbors started rethinking their decision to live here. Um, makes me want to go back to North Carolina. I was in the country up in the mountains. It was safe. Lake Wales police say two men watched Stephen Rios violently attack a man in his 30s, who they say he seemed friendly with earlier in the night. The witnesses told police Rios repeatedly stabbed the man, and when they tried to help, Rios turned and threatened them and their families. That's why they waited 12 hours to report the crime. A small get-together and having a beer, and it turned violent at one point, and nobody knows why. Lieutenant David Black says the unknown victim was heard screaming for help during the attack, but eventually went silent. The witnesses say Rios then picked up the man, put him in the car, and took off. They have no idea if he's dead or alive. It doesn't sound good for the victim. No, it does not. Jerry Patterson says a group of men routinely hang out under the tent in this driveway near where it happened. He figures one of them just got carried away. Every time like I go buy groceries in the evening, Say around 6, 7 o'clock, they'd be out there drinking and cooking out and stuff like that. Rios has an extensive criminal history and recently served a year in prison for burglary. After this weekend's violent attack, investigators consider him armed and dangerous. Please don't approach him. Keep eyes on him if at all possible and call law enforcement. Now here's a description of the car Rios left in. He was seen putting the victim in a gray 2010 Hyundai Sonata, similar to the one seen here. The Florida license plate is 114NBA. And I can tell you the Lake Wales Police Department is now getting help from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement in finding Rios. Live in Lake Wales, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News. Thank you, Ryan.